let us see the next example. Estimate the value of square root of 600 to the nearest to one decimal place. We are doing estimation only, not the long division method. In this estimation, first let us find out the nearest perfect squares to nearer to 600. The perfect squares near perfect squares nearer to nearest to 600 what? What are the perfect squares nearer to 600? 24 square is 576 and 25 square is 600. Sorry, 625. That is uh, 576 and 625. That means this is 600 lie between 576 and 625. Otherwise, how do we write this one? 24 square is less than 600, is less than 25 square can I write, right? Now both I am applying the square root, square root of 24 square is less than square root 600, is less than 25 square. Square and root gets cancelled, square and root gets cancelled. What does it mean? Root 600 value lies between, lies between 24 and 25. In between 24 and 25 means maybe 24.1, 24.2, 24.3, maybe whatever the value it is. We are going halfway first. Then based on the result, we will go either this side or that side. So let us try for, let us try for 24.5 I am taking. So what does it mean? I am going to find it out 24.5 times 24.5. Here also we can apply the same rule. 5 is a 25 and 24 times 25 also you have to multiply and check it out. That is 245 times 245. 5 is a 25 too. 5 fours are 20 plus 2 22. 10 plus 2 12. 4 fives are 22. 4 fours are 16, 17, 18, 1. 4 twos are 8 plus 1, 9. 2 fives are 10. 2 fours are 8 plus 1, 9. 2 twos are 4. 5, 2, 10. 9, 9, 18, 19, 20. 600.25. 600.25. This is little bit greater than 600. Okay? Now what I am going... This is little bit... Yeah. This is little bit greater than 600. Now... I will go for little lesser. Let us try for, let, that means from here what do we write? Uh, look at here, this is uh, 24 is less than root 600. This is less than 24.5 can I write? Okay, but um, now let us try for, let us try for 24.4 I will go. Because little bit more is there, no? Let us see for the next one also. 24.4 times 24.4 I will do. That is 244 times 244. 16. 4 4 is 16 plus 1 17. 8 plus 1 9. Here also same thing I will get. Now here 2 4 is 8. 2 4 is 8. 2 is 4. 6. 13. Uh, 9. 10. 17. 8. 25. 10. 19. 595.36. This is equal to 595.36, this value is less than 600. Now, look at here. In between these two possibilities, only the answer is existing. Either, either 24.5 or 24.4. Here, from which number is little bit nearer to 600 that we have to find it out. This is 0.25 only more. This is how much is more? Uh, suppose from 600, if I am taking away this value, 595.36. 10 minus 6 is 4, 9 minus 3 is 6, 9 minus 5 is 4, this nearly 4.64 is uh, this one, lesser, and here it is nearer to only 0 0.25, only the less there. So which one is nearer to 600? Nearer to 600 is this one only. Therefore, what do we take it off? Therefore, square root of 600 is equal to 24.5, approx we will write. Which one is nearer? Among these two, which one is nearer? We have to check it out in that manner. 
This is only 0.25 only more and it is 4.64 is less. From among 4.64 and 0.25, 0.25 is the less. That is that much less only there. That's why we are considering 24.5 is nearer to root 600. That is approximate value of root 600 is 24.5. Thank you.